Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us as we revel in a, I want to say a once in a lifetime performance for mm -hmm. most athletes, but for this particular athlete, it's the fourth on the trot and I have a feeling the latest edition of record breaking feats that is going to continue for years. When you are talented and you are driven as an athlete, just like Gerard Stein is, there is always a higher bar to scale. And with several victories and records to her name already, you might be asking what more did she want out of the Two Oceans Marathon that took place this weekend? I'll tell you another record. Perhaps making history would be um, one, and she has yeah. certainly done that. It's the Two Oceans Marathon GOAT. Now, it's underpinned, underlined, and she broke her record that she set again last year with her fourth consecutive win, the woman of the moment herself. Now joins us in studio. Can we give another round of applause for How <laughs> Does that? It, it mustn't get old, okay? Because you'll you'll miss these moments, okay? I know you've still got a few more records to go, but you will miss these moments. I would certainly miss these moments, and I'd never take it for granted. Um, I've not been an athlete my entire life. Uh, I only started when I was uh, already working as an adult yeah. and through university and everything. So it's in a way it feels still sometimes new to me. So certainly it never gets old. <laughs> and long way that feeling, stay, keep that stay. <laughs> I, I would like to know, just in terms of unlocking more, you know when you do one marathon, okay, and you're like, I've given everything and that's why I set a record. Then you come back for another marathon and you find more. How is that even possible? I mean, I, I want to tap into your mindset because mm. I think many of us, we want to be better every single day. You managed to do this, you know, four consecutive times. And it is times. transferable. Yeah, it is transferable, it. So mindset, how do you yeah. how do you go in after giving everything in the previous marathon? You found more. How do you find more? The two things that come to mind when you ask that question for me, I yeah. think running is very personal in a way. Okay. So, mm. yes, it was the record. And yes, it was, I finished first lady over the line. But... Personally, I still want to see growth. Um, I want to see me beating me from last year or from previous years. Or So I think that is always going to play a role. I yes. think I'll never... I don't think I'll ever get to a stage where I feel I'm 100% satisfied. Um, this is the best I can ever produce. Um, I'm, I'm out. Um, of course, with age, I'll, I'll come to a stage where yeah. I, I can't reach the times that I used to run. But... While I'm still on an uphill curve, I can't see myself ever feeling 100% satisfied. And then the other thing is, for me, it came from a place of joy. For me, running started because oh. I wanted to, same as anyone else who's lined up for the Two Oceans this week, um, I wanted to see what I can do. I wanted to see if I can run a marathon, if I can um, make a community of friends in the running community. And that's never left. Yes, um, yes it's my profession now. Yes, I'm... 100% committed to the sport. Um, everything else is secondary. <laughs> um, but that that joy has never left. So I love doing it. I want to do it. That's what I choose to do as well. Uh, you still have your community around you. They just run a lot faster now. <laughs> That's just uh, the bottom line. But I know how deeply connected all of you are because of your, of your experience of life. Yeah. <sighs> You, it feels like you have unlocked something here. Does it feel like that to you? Is this a daily charge? Is this something you wake up every morning feeling and applying yourself to? Or is it a moment where you can look back and go, wow, that was the moment where I unlocked my potential or <laughs> unlocked that self-belief? Does it hinge on a moment or is it an everyday tussle? I would 100% say it hinges on a moment. Really? Um, one can't be ready for race day every single day of the year. You'll just 100% burn, burn out. Burn out, yeah. It's that simple. It's impossible for so the body to do it, yeah. You, yeah. Can't, you can't be in racing shape, in racing mode, in fight mode every single day. You have to take time off. In a daily, on a daily basis even, you have to take time off. I can't train 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. I have to train hard when I'm training hard and rest hard when I'm resting hard. And only on race day. You can be so focused for those three and a half hours that nothing can, can take your attention away from the task ahead of you. But the day after that, you can't do it again. You're a normal person. Maybe you can. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can. Calm and Valentino, like you, can. you can, yeah. <laughs> but no, what I mean is you can't be in that racing mode every single day of your life. It's just impossible. So you have to work really hard to be ready on that day. 
not the day before or the, or day, the after. day after. On that wow. day, you have to be ready for it and be ready to give your all and some if needed. And, and a little extra 36 seconds. Uh, you know that there is a teenager now somewhere yeah. in South Africa saying to their parents, Mom, I'm resting hard, okay? Yes. I'm resting hard today. It's my hard resting day. Well, I mean, it's the best source to get it from. Thank you so much. But I know that you train all over the world. You've got Dubai. You've got the Alps under your belt sure. as well. Uh, just a, a quick one. Any other places that you want to train for the next one? Uh, I'm okay for now. Thank you. Okay, perfect. That's what I find out. But congrats again, Gerda. You are fantastic and an inspiration. And you keep on pushing. I love what you said about you're never satisfied. And I think that's how you unlock your 100%, yeah. is by never being satisfied and focusing on your goals as you've seen over here. If it's inspiring, of course, you know there's another inspiring show on SABC2. It is on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. as well as Sunday. Uh, unlock your 100% with Crush, of course. And you can catch that, as, as mentioned, Wednesdays. And then repeat show Sunday, 8 p.m. SABC2 with a phenomenal host, I must add, as well. Oh, he's amazing. He's, he's, he's gorgeous to look at. <laughs> but he <he's> also <laughs> happens to have one of those world-beating, record-breaking bodies. And there's a way that you keep those bodies in shape with post recovery after a marathon that's a slightly different story <laughs> unlock your 100% this Wednesday evening at 7 30 p.m. as we meet a home DIY expert who dreams of taking her passion to national TV I want you to bring your DIY skills to our show live. Am I going to be live? Me. Follow Hindi Buwad Lamini's journey as she gets her first-hand experience of just what it's like to be on a live TV show. Unlock your 100% Wednesday evenings at 7.30 on SABC2.